Hello fishy folks, happy do-it-yourself Sunday. I need to drill some tanks and I don't have any bulkheads. Uh, I can order bulkheads from Gemco for between five and six dollars. Um, <clears throat> I just, plus shipping, I just haven't gotten around to ordering any and I would like to at least get one more 10 gallon tank in my system. That one that's already plumbed up there next to the acrylic tank. So, what I want to do is I may I want to make my own bulkhead, which I've done before, um, essentially just to seal up a hole in a tank that I drilled that I didn't want to drill, or that I needed not drilled. So uh, I went to Home Depot this morning, spent a while walking around trying to figure out these two pieces are PVC, but they are uh, conduit for electrical. And the problem I had with the white PVC, the Schedule 40, is the threaded stuff doesn't thread into each other it doesn't it goes in two or three turns and stops so that's not good so this stuff works great it's a little coarser thread uh, so we're gonna put it together to see how it works there's the receipt everything I bought was 548 so about the same price a little uglier a uh, little bigger and it doesn't come with this screen which I can make something like this if I really wanted to so all right, let's drill a tank and see how it works. Real quick, guys, here's how I drill a tank. I have uh, this piece of decking um, that I uh, drilled a template hole in. I fill that with water. I have a um, towel on the other side, so when the glass piece falls, it doesn't crack the bottom. I've had pretty good luck drilling tanks, knock on wood. Um, I've cracked two out of probably about 40 tanks that I've drilled. I did break a third tank, it was all drilled, it was all set, the bulkhead was in, and I went to adjust the bulkhead and I, I stressed it, you know, I didn't, I didn't turn it like this, I kind of went like this and it cracked. So those are my broken tanks, two broken tanks over there in the corner because I can't throw them away, it's like against the law or something for me. But uh, I may actually cut the glass out and use it as glass tops, I'm not really sure yet. All right. I'll get back with you when I'm done. Ta-da! Well done. Let's talk about glass drill bits or hole saws for a second. So there's three different kinds you can buy. There's the cheap, cheap, cheap ones from Amazon or eBay. If you're only drilling one or two tanks, they're fine. Anything more than that, you run the risk of it not working after that. Then there's the medium, medium good ones, the medium quality ones you can buy those uh, at Lowe's or Home Depot and there's high quality ones you can buy at Lowe's and Home Depot if you're gonna if you're starting a fish room and drilling tanks I would buy the high quality one it's the only one you'll ever need probably it probably comes with a decent warranty um, you can always return it if it doesn't do as many tanks as you want and exchange it for a new one um, and that's what I got. I, I actually got the medium quality one. And the reason I'm saying I wish I, you should buy the high quality is because I would get anywhere between three and five tanks out of the cheap ones. You could probably get more if you go slower, maybe seven. I got the medium quality one. I probably got 20 tanks out of. Um, but now, you know, I have more tanks to drill and I need another drill bit. So I'm going to have to invest in probably another medium quality one. About 20 bucks at Lowe's, about $5 or less at uh, uh, Amazon or eBay for the cheap ones, about $40 for the good ones. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to build the bulkhead now. Okay, the gasket is made, Teflon tape has been installed, and we will now install the bulkhead. Stand by. All right, boys and girls. There's your finished product. Not too bad. A little longer than a standard bulkhead, but not too bad. I did glue this. I took it off, put the primer in the glue, used gravity, you know, to force it down. And I'm gonna let that dry for a couple hours. So have a great Sunday and I'll come back in a while and uh, We'll see if it holds water. Wish me luck. All right, fishy folks, I'm back. It is probably four or five hours later. <clears throat> no leak. Seems good. I have to turn this a little bit to make this, I'd like it a little bit more straight, but if it's that way, it's fine. So 
I will drain the tank, set it up, throw some water in it, and uh, show you the finished product. Well, I thought I screwed up. I had this one piece of vinyl tubing left, this one, um, and when I sort of measured it, what I had left from some other installs, you can see this is different. This is the stuff I got from Gemco. I got 50 feet and it did almost all my tanks. Every tank except for this new one and this one. And I think I redid that last 20 high on the end. Um, I bought this at Home Depot sort of in a pinch. It was, I don't know, I think I got maybe 10 feet and it was almost the same price as the 50 feet from Gemco. Now, of course, this has the mesh in it, but there's really no pressure on this, so I don't know why we need that. But anyway, um, so I measured it out sort of by eye. I thought it was good. I had this piece lying around knowing it was going here. And when I got done, it was too short. So I took a piece, a spare piece of half-inch PVC, heated this up, shoved it in there boom we're done we're good now what i think i'm going to do for future tanks because i have a ton of pecs half inch pecs see the red stuff down there if you're not sure what pecs is it's uh basically basically flexible pipe um it doesn't require soldering it's light it's this stuff i use it when i plumbed my uh slop sink and washing machine I moved them from upstairs down here a couple years ago and I have all that left over and the plan was to use that in the fish room but PEX connectors are ridiculously expensive they're called shark bites and like the cheapest one is 10 bucks so I, I basically did the whole thing in PVC uh, you know this plumbing from my sink to my sump the fill line in PVC for you know the price of like two connectors so anyway um, what I think I'm gonna do is find um, tubing that I can slide that PEX into and then just use a short piece of tubing up here and then the PEX down to the the drain for those three tanks because this stuff is kind of expensive for what it is not really expensive but I'm just cheap all right, guys, I'm gonna drain the sump, do a quick water change, and um, then I will fill that tank and show you the finished product. Okay, fishy folks, there is the finished tank. Uh, actually, I let it run all night, so this is Monday morning. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So water flows from the main line from that ball valve which I can, you know, open and close for flow or close for maintenance or, you know, drain the tank and then fill it with that. Um, and then it, it overflows from the standpipe into the um, bulkhead that we made and out that vinyl tubing into the drain line. Now, let me get my handy dandy ladder. Looks like from the top. So that water is actually quite high, but it's not overflowing, so that's good. But actually, what I'm going to do is reach up in here and lower the flow a little bit because it's actually above the standpipe, and I don't like that. That's how we have accidents in the fish room, and we don't want accidents. In the fish room. Okay, that's my video on a do-it-yourself bulkhead. Hope you guys liked it. Any questions, leave them down below. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Why don't you go ahead and do that? Share it, like it, love it. You know, I know this video is about do-it-yourself bulkhead, but there's been some naughty happenings in the fish room. We got guppy fry in the back there. We've got, I saw Neon Swordtail Fry in here, which I, I would really want to remove. I just don't have time right now. 
So overnight we had some babies, brown papa. I've been looking for a fry out of this tank uh, since I got the green cobras. Uh, no fry ever, so this is the first. Very happy. All right, guys, I'm rambling now. I'll do an update video this week. You can see the growth of the uh, all the fry and some other stuff. So have a great, great day, and uh, you know, feed your fish.